Hey everyone, this is Ty and welcome back to the channel. So today what we're going to be doing, I'm going to do a quick side-by-side -side comparison of the Rockford Fosgate sound system in my 2021 Street Glide CVO and my 2022 Lowrider ST and give you guys the opportunity to see and hear both in action. Stick around. Just a couple of quick things that I wanted to bring to your attention before we get into the review. Number one, I've got a decibel reader. I've got a digital readout of how loud things are. We're going to be using this during the review. I know much of this is subjective and the audio quality coming from the camera probably just doesn't do either system justice. That's why I wanted to tell you that if you're interested in either one of these Rockford Fosgate sound systems, be sure to check them out on a motorcycle or maybe at your local dealer. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump in first to the Street Glide CVO. This Street Glide CVO comes with the Rockford Fosgate Stage 2 speakers. This complete system comes with two speakers in the fairing and one speaker in each saddlebag. Each speaker features a durable injection molded woofer and a separate bridge mounted mid-range and tweeter speakers. Each speaker unit is rated to handle up to 150 watts of power and is designed for amazing sounds even at highway speeds. Harley claims that the Stage 2 speakers are 37% louder than Stage 1 and can be easily heard when you are riding with a helmet and loud exhaust. I'm going to have to agree with Harley Davidson on this one. The sound quality of these speakers, they're just amazing and it doesn't matter what speed I'm going at, they sound absolutely phenomenal. Now if you're going to purchase this system for your motorcycle separately, we're about to go over a list of some of the things that you're going to need, but don't take my word completely for it. Please, please, please check with your local dealer to make sure there's nothing else you're lacking. To start first, you're going to need the fairing speakers. A pair of those, that's going to run you $399. You're also going to need the fairing speaker installation kit for around 43 bucks. You're also going to need a 400 watt four channel amplifier. According to Harley's website, $568. Then you're gonna need the saddlebag speakers. A pair of those are gonna run you $399. You'll also need the saddlebag speaker installation kit for around 75 bucks. You're possibly going to need another amp. There's one that are in, that's in my saddlebag on the CVO. Again, check with your local dealer. And then, of course, you're going to need saddlebag lid. And prices are going to vary there depending on color match options. Now let's talk about the Rockford Fosgate system for the Lowrider ST. The Rockford Fosgate system for the Lowrider ST comes in the box and ready to go. Everything you need is included for a price of $1,050. You can install the system yourself or have a qualified technician do the install for you. The kit is lightweight and weighs in at around seven pounds. And for the most part, it's a plug and play installation. The system is comprised of two way speakers that include a pair of five and a quarter woofers and two remote tweeters aimed at the rider's ears for great audio performance. According to Harley Davidson, the Rockford Fosgate sound system for the Lowrider ST provides 250 watts of power. And again, these speakers sound fantastic. I can hear my music with a full face helmet. I can hear my music at highway speeds. I can even hear my music over these tab performance zombie baffles and they are loud. Now that we're done with that, let's check out the audio demo with the decibel reader. All right, we've got a somewhat scientific setup here. Let's see how this works. Hopefully you guys can see this. I think you can. Right here, I've got the decibel reader on a tripod. Got the handlebars turned so the speakers are pointing to it a little bit. I found some music on epidemic sounds that I'm going to be able to play. Hopefully we won't get a copyright tag. I'm going to turn down the volume on my phone as low as it'll go and then we'll start raising the volume bit by bit on the motorcycle and then what we're going to do we're going to repeat this whole setup on the lowrider st so i won't be explaining that again we'll just jump right into it so let's check it out and see what happens all right there we go that is the sound of just me talking now let's start with some of the music uh, ten toes down around Oh 
man, any louder than that in this neighborhood is going to go nuts. But it just sounds phenomenal. When I get back and start edit editing this in post, I'll be able to take a look at those numbers. I think it was right at maybe 100 decibels or something like that. So anyway, that was fun. I'm gonna take all this set up. We're gonna put it over on the Lowrider ST, see what we get there. All right, with the fairing with the Lowrider ST, I'm not able to angle it exactly the way that I was on the Street Glide, but I think I've got it set up pretty well. So we're gonna rinse and repeat, same experiment. Let's see what we get. Ten toes down on my ride with the gang My whole life I've been on my bank Keep that money in all day Anything I do, I do for the gang Anything I do, I do for the gang Took those L's and I took that J All money in, yeah, we ain't poppin' no chain So that guy's cool cause I did a good day On me three whips, don't need no rain I'ma keep it simple in the Chevy ass game well, to be perfectly honest with you guys here in the garage, I can't tell any difference which one is louder, which one has better sound quality. They both sound amazing. They are great products by Rockford Fosgate and Harley Davidson. Super impressed with both. If you guys get a chance, be sure to check them out. If you have either system in your motorcycle, be sure to comment below and let me know what you think about it. I hope this video was helpful. I appreciate y'all's time so very much. I hope you guys have an excellent day. We'll talk to you again soon.